I think the greatest thing I've learned is that most of the people living on the streets don't want to be on the streets. And being from the suburbs of North County, when I saw people living on the streets, I just assumed that they chose that lifestyle or their decisions led to that lifestyle. And having been here now a little while, I'm starting to realize that these are just men and women like you and me whose stories aren't that much different than ours. And they spiraled out of control, didn't have the resources or relationships to be able to change the direction of their life and ended up on the streets. So the biggest thing I've learned is that there's a lot of people on the streets that don't want to be on the streets and the San Diego Rescue Mission can help them. I'm excited about the culture. Uh, I'm inspired by the staff. I continue to be amazed at the men and women that God has brought us. They do this because there's a calling on their life for this. It's not the pay, it's not the hours. <laughs> they do it because they want their life to matter, they want their life to count, and they want to make a difference. And so within that is a culture, a staff culture. And what I'm excited about is I've sensed that that's changing a little bit, that we're becoming a team not separate programs, not separate departments, that we're becoming one mission, one team. And I love that. I don't think we can do this and have the impact that God wants us to have if we don't work together. It's too demanding, it's too complicated, it's too volatile. And I just sense a desire to want to go someplace big. And I'm excited about being a part of it. Is this the life you really want to live? Because I don't believe it's the life that that God has set out for you to live. I think He has more for you than that. Um, I don't know what happened to you. I'd like to know your story. And if you'll come to the San Diego Rescue Mission, we believe that we can help you. And you can get off the streets. You don't have to live on the streets. You don't have to wonder where you're gonna be tomorrow and are your kids safe and how are you gonna eat? And we can actually walk you through a program that will change your life. This is a new initiative within the last couple of months and we're excited about training our donors and our volunteers to help us engage those that are living on the streets. ICU just simply means that as a donor, as a volunteer, as an organization, I'm not gonna walk past you anymore. There's this bag is full of things that will help you and there's information about an organization that will help you. And so we're training our donors and our volunteers to use this to allow us to be a little more proactive at engaging people living on the streets. Yeah, so I would say pray for us. Um, go before us in prayer and ask God to give us favor as we meet the needs of people that are living on the streets. Come down here and volunteer. We have a couple outreach meals around Thanksgiving and Christmas. Incredible opportunity for you to come and bring your family and serve and give financially. We raise the majority of our budget in October, November, December and being involved financially is an incredible blessing. I have, I watch uh, probably too much football, my wife would tell you. I typically watch the good games on Saturday that are in college and then spend most of my time watching the NFL on Sunday. Well, I'd have to say the Saints for sure would be my pick to win the Super Bowl. Uh, I'm not quite sure who they'll play, but I feel like that side of the NFL uh, has, uh, really, is really playing well and I like what Drew Brees is doing, former San Diego Charger. Uh, and I'd like to really see him win another Super Bowl. I love the Thanksgiving, Christmas holidays, a chance to spend some time with family. My daughter's coming home in a couple of weeks and she'll be here for about a month before she goes back to school. Really looking forward to seeing her. Uh, also, my son's in uh, Spain playing basketball, so get to watch him play and get to talk to him from time to time, but uh, just looking forward to staying in touch with his progress and then just uh, celebrating what Christ did for us uh, and just how he was born in a manger and lived a life and uh, communicated truth and died on a cross for our sins that we might have life. And I love the Christmas season to be able to celebrate his birth. Yeah, I just wanna say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays these last few months. Thanks for the role that you play at the San Diego Rescue Mission. We couldn't do what we do without you. I really feel like this is one of the great team projects in life. And as we work together, staff and donors and churches and volunteers, I really believe we can change the state of homelessness in San Diego. And I wanna thank you for being a part of it. So Merry Christmas.